I'm joined here by the arsonists. So what brings you over to the UK? We're doing a, like a little promotional like gigs here and there. And so this is like our, like our fifth or sixth time out in uh, Europe on a whole. You know, hip hop's brought us over here and we've been doing this for quite some time. And we've been to many parts of Europe and you know, giving wonderful shows for wonderful people who appreciate and love hip hop like we do and did when we was young. What do you make of the scene over here? It's pretty much the same as New York City, you know, it's, it's, it's got its underground, it's got its commercial and, uh, you know, people, the, the heads that are really dedicated to hip-hop are really, like, like really into it. You know? What made you all get into the scene, into the hip-hop scene? The hip-hop scene, it wasn't, it wasn't anything that really, like, made us get into it. It was just, we were really, like, brought up that way, yeah. like, in the neighborhood where we live, you know, as when we were young, we were growing up with hip-hop all around us. I mean, it wasn't really anything that made us do it. It was just something that you couldn't really help. It's almost like living in the woods with no food. You would have to eat fruit and from the trees, you know, and that's basically what it was, y'all. We're born, you know, born into hip-hop, yeah. basically. What was it like growing up in Brooklyn? Um, you know, it, it was rough, but what's interesting about our story is that regardless of, like, what was going on around us, we always had, like, this, this, like, very chill, you know, peaceful and happiness about ourselves, you know, and no matter where we was at, you know, you know, we, we, we've recorded in bed we've recorded in, uh, in Bushwick, you know, so no matter where we was at, it was just, you know, it was like we was in a different world, so it didn't really, you know, it, it does matter where we're from, I can't front, you know, because I've learned a lot of things being in the Bronx and in Brooklyn, you know, that have added to my experiences. Also being in Austin is made me stay off the streets of, of Brooklyn, yeah. so that was a good thing, you know. Would you say that your background's giving you the direction with your music as well? Yeah, yeah ev um, pretty much everything from our, our, our roots, our parents, um, the music, the TV we watch, all t you know, friendships, everything has given us a direction to where we, where, where we are now and, and has inspired us and influenced us to be, you know, to, to create the music that we do. Do you think it's important to appear live? Very important, yeah. especially you know, as, as the way we bring it to stage, because we're all about live shows and entertaining <laughs> like masses of people. You know, we've done huge venues like the Roskill Festival. You know, and what's important when when you're getting on stage is is to be entertaining, and we've always found that important because we know ourselves as as fans as well as artists. Like when we go see you know, other artists perform, we want to be entertained. So when you go to a, a whack show, it's like, it, it just takes away from, you know, you know, what you really appreciated from that group. So it's very important to, to be incredible live. Basically, when we get on stage, we're ourselves. Yeah. Like, you know, when we get together and we're not on stage, we're joking around, we're having fun, we're hyper, we're laughing, and you get all of that on stage. It's just a big taste and dose of what we're like when you're just hanging out with us. A lot of rap music is sold off the back of who guests on the album or who produces it, but you lot don't do that because you do it all yourselves. Do you think that's what makes your music different? Yeah, obviously it does It does bring all of our experiences um, aside from a producer that you probably heard on everybody's album, so therefore, you know, it makes a lot of things pretty much sound the same. And um, why we also did that was for the reason that we figured since this was our first introduction in, into the hip hop realm, it was like, yo, hello, we're the arsonists. This is what we sound like, you know? This is not what the million dollar producer makes or, or what the million dollar MC sounds like. This is what we sound like first. Get to know us first, spend some time with us, listen to the album. And then in the future, you know, you'll probably hear some, you know, other stuff. But for now, get to know who we are and what, we, what we're capable of.